Last week, a U.S. Congressional Committee blocked three medical cannabis measures that, according to Democratic Congressman Jared Polis, could have helped alleviate the nation's prescription opioid crisis. On May 10th, the U.S. House Rules Committee introduced a bill to create a task force to review best practices for pain management and prescribing pain medication. During that process, the panel blocked two measures to study cannabis as an alternative to deadly prescription painkillers. I personally offered a bipartisan amendment with Mr. Rohrbacher of California that would have required the pain management task force created in H.R. 4641 to take into consideration the potential for marijuana wanted to serve as an alternative to opioids for pain management. Several private studies have yielded promising results. In 2014, the Journal of Pain found that those who suffer from chronic pain reduced use of opioids by a significant margin when using marijuana for medicinal purposes. Uh, marijuana likely won't work in every instance where somebody has chronic pain, but where it does, you have a far less harmful, less addictive option with much more limited side effects than opioid painkillers. And we shouldn't be taking an option with limited side effects off the table when it could help free millions of Americans from excruciating pain and crippling addiction. Unfortunately, that amendment, simply an amendment to take into consideration and study the issue, uh, was also blocked. A third amendment to a separate bill, the Comprehensive Opioid Abuse Reduction Act of 2016, would have excluded cannabis high in CBD and low in THC, from the federal definition of cannabis. This measure was also blocked from even being voted on. This really is irresponsible of this body in responding to an epidemic of this complexity to not uh, debate and solicit ideas, bipartisan ideas, Republican ideas and Democratic ideas for members of this body to find creative solutions that can actually save lives and would be of great comfort to families that are affected.